Hi. Hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm Danielle. And together we're our time of the month. And today is installment five, six, seven, who knows, of our Amazon favorites videos. Your favorite video, we already know that, and so we're gonna tell you everything that we have bought off of Amazon recently that we've been loving. Yes. So that you can go out and buy it too. Absolutely. Because that's how it works. Yeah. So right up here at the top, I mean, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe if you've never watched one of our videos before. You like will, said, I promise. We're our time of the month, and we do a lot of beauty videos, lifestyle videos, women's focused things. Speaking of beauty videos, right before this video, we decided to do very bright eye looks and our hair in a way that we normally wouldn't. So, if enjoy. We're, if we're looking a little different, a little of interest, a little wild, a little wacky, a little hot, a little hot. Yeah, hot girl fine. summer. So today's rosé is a Coup de Provence. Coup de Provence. Provence. Oh, look at that cute little lavender bunch right there. AOP France. It is a 90 plus point wine. I like that it's not very sweet. I love that it's not very sweet. Sorry, that was really high. That's there. fine. I was going to make it in there Thank regardless. You. I appreciate it very um, much. And so cheers. Cheers. Cheers to you. Grab a drink, grab a snack, whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. Honestly, lock in because it's going to be a long one. Around here, we start top down directly influenced by Danielle as I was sitting in this exact chair she had the tangle teaser this is so much hair in it the tangle teaser brush as opposed to the one that just is like a handhold yeah and I sat here I happen to have straight hair that day so she I could did. just brush my hair it's like a scalp massage and a hairbrush in the best way I love it. I've really been enjoying it. I love that it doesn't have any of the little nubbins on the ends yes. because with every brush, that is what I find like starts to pop off. Um, I really like the wet brush, but those bristles tend to pull out and then get stuck in my hair or the little nubbins come off and it looks disgusting. I like this one because I feel like I could pull the hair out of it and like throw it in my dishwasher. You could wash it if you wanted to. Yeah. Because it doesn't have that backing. That like fabric backing. Yeah that sometimes like is glued in and then it pops out, you'll never have that problem. Right, it's all just plastic and silicone. So I'm glad you like it. Very much love it. So Do you ever use it in the shower? No. Okay, I don't either, but I, I've heard people say they like to use it in the shower. I only use a wide tooth comb in the shower and then I only really brush my hair immediately before washing it or if it's like I'm styling it and I need to put a hot tool on it. As Caitlin said, it's hot girl summer. Yeah. And even if it's hot dude summer, you're gonna wanna cool yourself off. Yeah. And we live in an area, in a region, that is straight up humid mm. all of the time. Mm -hmm. Why is it like that here? I don't know. I really don't love it. I don't love it. So, mm -hmm. I like to be outside as much as possible. You know, right now it's a little cicada-y, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. um, and so, to cool myself off, I bought myself a rechargeable portable handheld fan that, first of all, folds up like this for Ooh, travel, yes. which I'll be taking this with me on my next trip, and it has a USB plug that you can charge it with, and it does have a little water reservoir here, so you can mist yourself like you're at a freaking amusement park. So button one, just, you know, a nice breeze. Nice breeze. Yeah. Button two. We're getting up there. Yeah. Three. Wow. You're at Beyonce fan level. Then it's off. But if you hold it, okay. Oh, there so it is. if you hold it in, there's a mister, and you probably can't even see it because it's such a fine mist. I don't like the mister on this high of a setting because I think it just blows it away. Oh, yeah. That's see? just mist. It's just mist. And I will say when you hold your hand in front of it, it's cool. Yeah, for sure. But it's not going to get you all yucky. No, it's oh just God, I gotta figure out how to, oh, oh, and it lights up. That was the part I was trying to show you. It changes colors. Mm -hmm. um, so the first thing I have is this, uh, if, you've wa if you watched our haul video the other day, then you would have seen this dress on me. If and you, I can insert a little, uh, little footage of that. Or I was gonna go say, go watch that video so you can see what it looks like. Do that instead. Um, and so it is a, what I would call a like goldenrod or like mustard yellow mm -hmm. color, Swiss dot. Um, sheer but lined off the shoulder dress. So it has this Cute really great, like sort of triple ruffle top in the Swiss dot, completely lined so you can wear, which is kind of great because you can wear like almost any color strapless bra, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and then it has a little sheer sleeve and then it is like knee length and it has the little ruffle on the bottom. It's just, I mean, it's a sack. 
It's adorable though. So it makes it so that you can, like, I don't ever have to wear like a shapewear with this. I don't have to worry about ha being like maybe a little bloated. Um, it's got a little room to breathe. And I think it would actually be good in hot weather because I do think that the breeze would just be amazing in this. I believe and that. And then also for and off the shoulder, this elastic is amazing because I feel like it's completely secure shoulder to shoulder and it's not going to do this, which I really hate. I just hate having to like constantly adjust. Yeah. And this feels so secure. I'm very happy with it. I originally had bought it for something and didn't end up wearing it, but, and I decided to keep it cause I liked it enough. If you have ever had a very low cut dress, especially a wrap dress, uh -huh. like a wrap style dress uh -huh. that just seems a little low right here. It may not be like total cleavage city, but it's so low that you couldn't wear a traditional bra with it. I have the solution for you. This is a deep plunge bra. And as you can see, it has this very deep cutout here that does have a little underwire right there to kind of hold its shape. And it's wide set enough so that mm. it's not poking through to like disturb your photographs. So I wore this when Mike and I did family photos and I was wearing a wrap dress that just wouldn't tolerate a regular bra that I wear that I wear. So I bought this on Amazon and I freaking love it. I've worn it probably three times since then. It's not padded really, but it is, I don't know how to explain it. Well, like, it has cups, but, but they're it's not, not padded. removable. So like, what is that for? I guess that's to put a removable pad in if you oh, wanted to. Okay. You could just buy them separately. So I will say this, the sizing is a little bit funky with this because I have a very wide breast, so it's not necessarily protruding, but it's mm -hmm. very wide. And so this isn't a very wide cut, but it's fine. I still was able to make it work. You couldn't tell that there was any bulging or anything like that in the dress that I was wearing it with. I'll insert a photo, but it's quite comfortable. It's nude. You can even remove the straps if you want to. So if you had a very plunging like jumpsuit mm -hmm. that was strapless, you could just take the straps off and wear it like that. I'm just glad that I finally own something like this. And I feel like specialty bras are usually very expensive and this was under $30. It does what I need it to do. It's not an everyday bra, but that's fine. Cause I'm wearing it realistically, what, four times a year. Yeah, I'd probably, I guess in the summer, probably more. Yeah. Um, I try to not wear a bra if I can get away with it, but sometimes you just need to fill it out yeah. and that helps with that. Mm. Mm. I have a bathing suit. I see that. Um, my roommate confirmed it. It's just a thing. Every summer you need a new bathing suit. Just one? At least. You know I have a but problem. But you know I know you do. Suits. And honestly, it's become my problem as well. Like in my brain, bathing suits are just one year disposable. But so I am a big fan of BuzzFeed's 31 things off Amazon you'll love or uh, 47 dresses that are comfortable. And one of them was a ba it was definitely a bathing suit post. I can't remember if it was exclusively Amazon, but this was one of the featured bathing suits. It is a one shoulder, that's backwards. Oh. One shoulder ruffle monstera print. Do you have a photograph of you in this? I don't. Um, but it is great. I can tell. It is like thick, not thick, but, I know what you mean, but thick. Cause if you buy airy bathing suits, those shits are thin. 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 I like them, but they're thin. That's not why they're inexpensive. I couldn't figure out how Aerie sold bathing suits so inexpensive. It's because they're cheap bathing suits. Yeah. Um, still buy them, still like them, but this has like, oh, look at the ruching here. That's yeah. flattering. So they, yeah, they did a really nice little ruching along the side. So it has a little bit across the tummy, which is nice. It is not a particularly high cut bathing suit, which I like. I hate sleeveless things, but a one shoulder for me somehow makes me so much more comfortable and confident. But I don't know why. It's also sexy. Yeah. And I so, think. And so it, it's great because I have full coverage. I feel like I'd be really secure in this. Like it's a great like in the ocean bathing suit because everything is going to be Locked contained. Um, yes. Some of the other bathing suits I have, especially when I started getting into two pieces, I would not feel comfortable like diving off a diving board jumping off of a high rock on, in, on an island somewhere. Are, are we doing those things? Are we diving off of diving boards and jumping off of rocks? Absolutely. Um, and so I would, I would not use this as like a laying out bathing suit because of the one shoulder and I don't want the tan. 
I knew that the fit was going to be really good for me somehow, and so mm -hmm. I just really wanted the bathing suit. So I got the Monstera, and I just wish they had other prints. But they have a ton of, I believe they have a ton of colors. I just I liked this it. one the best. Yeah. I think that would be really cute in like a red or a black. Yes. Or a white. I just need to tell you that everybody, regardless of your height, your shape, your size, your skin tone. Man, woman. Man, woman. Buy this bathing suit. It is... It is like one of the first bathing suits I've ever put on and I was like, I feel like I want to be seen in public. It's in just so funny because I've had it in my cart on Amazon for months because it was in the same list was as it? that other. Yes. Because I don't read BuzzFeed. It was on the same list as that other bathing suit. So I have looked at this bathing suit and then every single time I've been like, eh, no, never mind. No, you have to try it. You have to try it. Yeah. It's phenomenal. So it's also very inexpensive. It was under $30. They have loads of different colors. They even have patterns. I'm already thinking of ordering the black one because they don't really have an, a one piece black bathing suit. But it's this really flattering halter style top that doesn't choke you. And that to me was the part that I was like, okay. The mesh is really forgiving and not itchy. Uh -huh. And I really love the little see-through mesh you know, banding here along your, it, it falls like pretty much right below your breast. So like along your rib cage, it does have pads, I think built in. Mm -hmm. Yes. They're sewn in and they're really thin. So it's not going to add a lot of, a lot of oomph to your breast, but it gives you shape and it makes you feel like Caitlin said, like you could jump off of a diving board. You could jump off of a rock. You mm -hmm. could splash around in the pool and play like what I look for in bathing suits is could I play with my niece and nephews in the pool with this bathing suit yeah this absolutely and so I, I don't know I just feel like this is so flattering it's so comfortable it's inexpensive I will absolutely buy other colors I will insert a photo of me wearing it because I have tried it on I haven't worn it in the water but the material feel how soft that oh, is oh that is very soft it's very soft and it doesn't emphasize like yeah like lumps and bumps yeah I don't know. I'm, I'm, I wanted to film this video so that I could talk about this. Like that's the I just, only reason. That's it. Everything else is garbage. Oh, <gasps> okay. Speaking of So sexy. I am very sorry. I forgot to grab this and put it in my bag, but I'll be honest, me holding it up, it probably wouldn't be helpful anyway. No. We recently went to a friend's bachelorette. We had a lingerie shower for her and it was, uh, it was sort of last minute when we were no notified that it was gonna happen. So I needed to order something quickly and Amazon is the only one that no has like two day shipping. Mm -hmm. So I went on and I bought a one piece lace bodysuit and I bought it for her in like a teal color. Yeah, it was really beautiful. It was really beautiful, but it has this beautiful, it has this like thick satin tie. We'll have a photo. She's making me want to buy lingerie so, and I am not a lingerie person. So when I bought it for her, I also bought one for myself because I wanted to make sure that it was going to fit in some way. Wow. I tried it on immediately and it was so good. So I made my roommate look at me in this lingerie and I just sort of like covered up my nipples, covered up my butthole. I want this. It, I've, ne I've never looked at myself and been like, <laughs> really, I mean, I was wrapped like a present. I look like a gift. So it has a seam and then it has, a, it does have adjustable straps. So that's a little lifting. They're very thin. Yeah. So I definitely, so my boobs are more or less, they're shaped like this. My tips, my fingertips are my nipples. So in lingerie, it is very important to me that I can get some support. Also don't judge my boobs right now. I straight up forgot a real bra. I'm wearing a bralette. But like I need them to have, I prefer a cup if I can get one, but this doesn't have it. It's just sheer mesh, but it, they're in their little, little triangles. Uh -huh. It's great. The tie around the waist feels extremely expensive. Would you buy it in other colors? I would buy it in all the colors. I, I should get it and take it on vacation. Yes, you absolutely should. Why I should. the fuck would you not? Okay. It's hot and it's because- Okay, hot girl summer. Here we go. So that- Th that thick satiny tie, one, it feels and looks expensive, but it also like emphasizes your waist. It falls at my exact natural waist, which is freakish. And then also it's cut a little bit high on the hip. So there is that like, sexy not, though. It's like not quite perfect. Well, cause I have like a fupa, so it like kind of, but you know, it just, it's fine. It works. You can make it work. 
Anyone can make it work, I swear to God. I swear to God. I Even if you have this. a drastically different body type, I really think that it would just, the way that it fits is amazing. And it's kind of full coverage, so if you're self-conscious, it's got it's got a piece that goes across your stomach. Is it a thong style back? It's or? a, I wouldn't quite call it, okay. call it a thong, but okay. it is cheek no cheeky. it's a it's a thong it's a cheeky thong it's a it's a thong it's but on it's, a g-string it's more no it's more like um like yeah like a victoria's secret like cotton panty thong where it sort of like comes but like this so, yeah so literally i like hung out with this guy <laughs> it's a guy that i used to date <laughs> and he was like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and i'm like okay and then i'm like wait shit i this is a chance i have to do Could it I on was I this have the first time you wore for a dude yes but i put it on i'm buying it right now you have to and he okay. was like oh and i was like yeah you're welcome and he literally afterwards said thank you multiple times for me wearing it how should i search for this um it is joyaria j-o-y-a-r-i-a -A. oh that <gasps> right <gasps> yes. right yes but look at this lime green thing i know oh Yes. Okay. So. Oh my God. Yeah. This is. Uh huh. Ooh, okay. That's the back. Okay. It, you're a gift. <gasps> oh. So that's the color I bought, Alicia. I like that color. I like the yellow a lot, but I, I don't know if it's like like do dudes find gold like really bright yellow sexy? I'm I think you're gonna have to do emerald. What size should I get? Medium. So I got myself. I think it's true to size. It says true to size. I think I got myself a two X which would be one size larger than I'm currently wearing. Like, look at these ladies, wow. look at her. I'm gonna buy it right now, here I go. Yeah. Proceed to check out. I just got two lingerie full body oh, things for $38. That's the other thing! That it's thing under is 20 bucks. under $20 and it looks so expensive. Wait, let me just- Specifically because of the belt. If I can take a picture of myself with nipple covers on, Okay. I will do it. This is the one I got. Caitlin owns it in this really beautiful purple. Yeah, like a plum. Yeah. Here's what the back looks like, like a present, like she said. And then the other thing I just ordered, you know, we can't really speak to it, but if you want to see it, Ooh. this like chartreuse. Oh, this one has a snap crotch. Yes, That's... with underwire and a snap crotch. Oh, and it's a full back. So if you do care about that kind of stuff. Okay, so I've owned this bathing suit for about a year now, and I've worn it multiple times, and I can tell you that it's perfection, and similarly, mm. whatever size you are, buy this bathing suit. This is a very high cut bikini bathing suit. Very high cut, very cheeky in the back. The texture and the material is just absolutely beautiful. My favorite part about this bathing suit is that it's not lined with a white fabric. It's lined uh -huh. with the identical color that's on the outside. So even if you do have it right up in a weird way, it's not gonna show that yucky white lining. It's a bandeau style top. It does come with pads, but I removed them because I just don't, I don't like any padding up here. It's so sexy and so flattering, no matter the size that you are, I, was two sizes bigger last summer and I felt really good in it and I'm two sizes smaller this summer and I still feel really good in it. Mm. It's very forgiving. It accentuates the curves that you want to show off as a curvy woman. And I think if you are like more straight sized and like athletic figured, it would also look really good on you. Yeah. I really I really do think it would look great on everyone and I love this like sagey green color. As mm -hmm. you can tell, I really am liking green right now. I just bought this lingerie in green. I feel like everyone needs a strapless bathing suit yes. because without a doubt, there will always be some sort of, of wedding during the summer or yes. whatever. Wh like get yourself a strapless bathing suit so that you don't end up with that horrible, I just yes. always think of bridesmaids. Oh, I know. And somebody has worn just a straight up like scoop neck fucking bathing suit oh or a V-neck. So if you're looking for something, I mean, this is high waisted and it's smoothing. But that's high cut for sure. It's very high you cut. Like you're gonna need the if like if you don't want your pubic hair to show, you're gonna have to shave or wax or something. Where would you where would you say it comes on your hip though? Above your hip or below? Let me just put it on. I haven't had a wax. I'm going on Tuesday. Okay. Oh, you're going to Val? Yeah, I have to wax. Okay, so that comes up. I mean, you I'm just trying the to hair. Well, I'm just trying to figure out where, like, I mean, this it's my hip bone is right here. So, but it's not as high as I thought. And it's, 
I mean, it's cheeky. Are you gonna put your ass on? Oh, maybe, I don't know. Well, at least move the chair out of the way. Um, so yeah, this I is mean, it. I mean, it's a, it's a sizable ass cheek. Okay, so, but it, so it would fall above. I couldn't wear it. I feel a little like... Hot girl summer in it? Like a, like a TikTok teenager. For sure. <laughs> just if that some, makes any sense. Just pull some pieces out in the front. Yes. Um, and, and if you want, you can make a little under boob peek out, Ooh. which I think is also very sexy. Pivot, hot girl shit, plant food spikes. <laughs> okay. Are you a lazy bitch that loves plants, but you haven't quite got a handle on it yet? I do love these. Plant food spikes. I love plants. I have a shitload of them. Are these only for plants, not for like vegetables and stuff? I believe these are, these, so these are for flowering and foliage house plants. Okay, cool. I think this might've also been a Buzzfeed recommendation. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I have a lot of plants, but I'm not super like super intense about it. So I haven't figured out fertilizer. Normally with mm. fertilizer, if you look at a plant it'll say like, okay, well you need this ratio 30 to 10 or 40. And I just can't, I have a lot of different types of plants. I yeah. would need a lot of different types of formula. So I just sense. bought these and they are like a very low level fertilizer. So you can't kill a plant with it, which is my, the, my point. Your fear. Your, yeah. your fear is that I don't have to balance it. I don't have to make sure that it's the right nitrates or whatever. Um, you just straight up, it comes with this little poker. You poke a hole halfway between the plant and the edge of the pot. You stick it in and then it slowly fertilizes mm -hmm. as you water and it like leaches and decomposes into your soil. It says it feeds for up to two months. I don't do it every two months. I probably do it, I don't know, maybe quarterly. Yeah. I'm not okay. working that hard. Like I'm not. But your plants are happy. My plants are happy. I definitely never see any like drooping after I put it in. So it's definitely not too strong. So these work just fine. This came with a two pack, which was really nice. And it's just easy. Yeah. Easy. Thank okay. you. To go with all of my slutty bathing suits and lingerie that Caitlin has influenced me to purchase. Pardon the neighbors. Pardon the neighbors. There's some home renovation projects happening. I got a rattan handbag and I see these all over the world wide web and some of them can be like $200. Why? Hand, Why? Hand woven. It's like woven plastic essentially. Um, so I got this one on Amazon for like 20 bucks and I love it. Is it the world's best quality? No, but will you be able to tell? Also no. <laughs> it's one giant pocket on the inside. It is lined, which is nice. So you don't have to put your hand like in all these uh, uh -huh. rattan reeds. Or being worried that something will fall out of a hole. Or, right, or something. exactly. So, you know, it does stay together quite nicely, but it also fits everything I need. And while I don't really love to hold a bag like this, I find it actually really cute and comfortable, but they had different weave patterns. This was the one that I thought looked like the best quality. So we will link everything below, but I just feel like a trendy bag like this or like those wicker bags that people really like, I'm not willing to invest a lot of money into that because it's a seasonal item. Who knows how long I'm going to be into this style. I want to pay less than $30 for it. Mm -hmm. That's all. I agree with that. My last item. I have a dog now. Fun fact. Um, he like always had him. I always had him. Uh, so he is an anxious dog. He was, I don't know if he was born anxious, but I, I, he entered into my life anxious. Um, and so I have tried actual prescription medications. They're just expensive and I don't, sometimes I feel like they like zonk him out and it makes me feel weird. Like I've yeah. drugged my dog and that feels odd. Um, and so one thing that I actually decided to try this time around with this dog is Zesty Paws Calming Bites for Behavior. Um, these were recommended somewhere on the internet when I was Googling like non-prescription um, dog treats. So they have a variety of different chemical compounds. So they're made from hemp seed powder chamomile. They have all of the same, if you're into medical marijuana at all or cannabis, they have a lot of the same like terpenes mm -hmm. um, that cannabis, do cannabis does, and especially if you look at like a sativa. Um, so it's all of those things that help you like calm. You've got valerian root, passion oh. flower, ginger root, tri not? tryptophan, tryptophan, ashwagandha, magnesium citrate. They're peanut butter flavor. Can I see what they look like, please? And most importantly, he freaking loves <gasps> them. Wait, they smell amazing. Yeah, can I get Barkley half? They smell like a peanut butter cookie, yeah. I think he can have a hole. He's 30 pounds. He can have two chews a day. Oh, Barkley, come here. Yeah, give him a hole. Come here. Do you want a peanut butter chew? My dog 
is obsessed with them. He will, if I put my hand anywhere near them and I'm not giving him a treat, he is very upset. I mean, Barkley's wagging his tail as he's eating, so I feel like that's always a really good sign. Yeah, so it's, um, it was 90 soft chews, which I thought was kind of a, uh, oh like, it was a good quantity, because I'm never going to give him more than one a day, so this is three months worth. They were a little bit expensive, but not huge. Mm -hmm. And then also, um, my dog is only like 15 pounds, so he only gets one chew a day. So what I do is I break them up into a couple pieces and so then I can dole them out and I make him sit and lay down and you know do his little circusy things and that's cute. I make him perform for them. Caitlin and I tend to watch a lot of YouTube videos but funnily enough they're not really all beauty related. Predominantly I'm watching a lot of homesteading videos yes. because I'm so I'm just so in love with the idea of it and honestly when my mom moved me to West Virginia that was the whole grand plan was to homestead and mm -hmm. it never really quite went to that but we did have a huge garden and tons of farmland and I just am very fascinated by growing my own food and I think it's really important to know how to do that just in case I would need to know. Okay. Um, so a lady that I have been watching on YouTube thanks to my aunt. Oh! The channel is Roots and Refuge Farm. She is the master gardener. She is the master gardener, and the really cool part about it is that she started out knowing nothing. She was just interested in it. Oh. And she taught herself all of this stuff over the years, and so she came out with her very first book, funnily enough, titled The First Time Gardener, Growing Vegetables, All the Know-How and Encouragement You Need to Grow and Fall in Love With Your Brand New Food Garden. And so last year, Mike built me a couple of different raised beds, and we have a lot of different pots that we plant tomatoes and herbs in and whatnot, because we do live in the city. Oh, she's back. Oh, cool. But this year, I really wanted to take it a step further and try to grow some things that I've not been so familiar with. So we're growing cauliflower and broccoli. We actually harvested some the other day. I want to show you my broccoli. Wait, wait till you see it. It's so fucking cute. Look at it! That looks like you bought it from a store. There's some slugs on it, but that's okay. It's organic. It went into your refrigerator with slugs on it? It probably just came out. Oh, you know, they like to say. hide down in there. That's fine. We'll take care of it. Look at this broccoli I grew. I am, it's impressive. It looks like it came from the store. You would never know. Oh, what was that? Oh, broccoli was that bisque? No, it was broccoli oh. bisque. But like, look how cute this is. So her book is really interesting because like it says, it encourages you. It's like gentle encouragement on how to do things. There are multiple ways to do things. She teaches you how to prune your plants or mm. slightly stress them out so they produce bigger fruit, better fruit. Um, by fruit, I mean like tomatoes. It's just such a good book. It's affordable. She goes through all of the vegetables. She herself is just one of the most pleasant people you could ever watch on the internet. She's so positive and what she does is just, I don't know, just so, uh, like I admire her. I admire her, I, I want to be her. She teaches you ways to like sow your seeds. Like the way she does carrots is really interesting. Um, really good photographs and this is all her stuff. Like she does all of this herself. I watch her videos all the time. She posts almost daily videos, so I'll link her actual channel below, but also this book because I really wanted to support her. Okay, well, this was it. a good one. We yeah. have like very useful things, but also like very applicable for summer, like your little plant things, perfect for now. Yes. Um, bathing suits, we've got you covered. Yep. Pardon the drilling, we're just gonna wrap this up real quick. Sounds like a sump pump. Yeah, comment, like, subscribe. Seriously. Seriously. We're so close to 10,000 subscribers, and I swear when we get there, you one of you is gonna be rewarded significantly. You will reap the benefits of us getting to 10,000. Watch our last video. Watch our next video. Please watch all the videos. Just watch all of them. There are like 300. It is still pandemic. You have time. Okay. We, we are, love you. We do. If this is your first video, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, welcome. Thank you. This is probably not the best. <gasps> Wait, you found it. Yeah, I did. Where was it? Um, in a different drawer. It was in my brush container, because that makes sense. It kind of does, actually. I understand why it would be there. When you said you did brow gel, I almost was like, oh, what brow gel are you using now? But I didn't look. Oh, yay. I'm happy. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Do you know how many times you thought I stole it? Yes. <laughs> Cause she steals all my stuff. I actually just put it back in your brush thing last time I was here. Okay. We are gonna cut it. Bye. 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 Goodbye. 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 Okay, what can you hold up? Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.